Hello everybody. I would like to thank for watching my last video. In my last lecture, I taught you the poem Cherry Tree. Let's learn how to do all activities depend on poem. In our question paper, there will be one scene extract from poetry section. After the scene extract, there will be four activities. Each activity carrying two marks. Here, one scene extract of poem will get eight marks weightage. First activity, testing factual understanding. Second activity, testing interpretation or understanding of poetic device. Third activity, testing appreciation or personal response. And last, fourth activity depend on poetic creativity. I hope you get idea how to do all activities. Let's learn the figure of speech. Number one, alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the initial letters or sounds in a series of words. The repetition of the same letter or sound at the beginning of words creates rhythm, mood and tone. Example of alliteration from Cherry Tree. Number 1. The grass cutter scythe split it apart. She held the slender stem. In these two examples, the sound yes is repeated. Next example, only wait as one who watched wandering while time. Here, the sound W is repeated. Next example, add the blue blind sky. Here, the sound P is repeated. Next example, the pinches as they flew and pleated. The sound yep is repeated here. And the last example of alliteration from cherry tree is the sun sank swiftly and the stars. Here the sound yes is repeated pleasingly. Now we are going to learn the next poetic device from cherry tree. Antithesis. Antithesis which literally means opposite is a rhetorical device in which two opposite ideas are put together in a sentence to achieve a contrasting effect. This word comes from the Greek word anti meaning against, thesis meaning position. And with antithesis, you simply set up two contrasting ideas. Example, it was very small, five months child, lost in the tall grass. Here, two opposite ideas, small and tall, are put together for effect. Next example, rather poor but richer by. Here, Two opposite ideas, poor and rich, are put together. Next figure of speech is personification. Personification is giving human characteristics or qualities to non-human things. It helps readers relate to the object and helps Make it more active. Personification can lend atmosphere to a scene or give lifelikeness to an object or an animal that might otherwise seem dull. Let's see the example of personification from Cherry Tree. Very small five months child upward thrust its arms here the plant sapling is 
represented as a human child holding its arms up to be lifted next example of personification is blue blind sky bees in an ecstasy drank singing crickets here non living things and insects are given human qualities of blindness ecstasy and singing let's learn the next figure of speech climax it is a figure of speech in which series of words phrases or ideas are arranged in an ascending order of importance or emphasis example pink fragile quick to fall notice the arrangement of the words in the line they move from healthy to delicate this figure of speech is called climax where successive words phrases sentences are arranged in ascending order of importance here the cherry blossom turns pink ripens and is ready to be picked and the next figure of speech is imagery imagery is the use of vivid descriptive language usually rich in sensory words that evokes one or all of the five senses to create pictures or images in the reader's mind example upward thrust its arms the line upward thrust its arms brings to mind a child holding up its arms to be carried by someone the child loves and who loves him the plant seems to be the child who wants to be loved next example made miracle from green growing pen this line shows the wonder of growing greenery next example ripen and jeweled in the sun here the poet speaks of the single cherry he saw and compares it to a jewel a cherry is red and the fruit reminded him of a ruby he even felt richer because of the cherry tree though money wise he was poor next example pink fragile quick to fall here the color pink brings to mind something dainty flimsy or delicate the poet is able to make the reader imagine small pretty and delicate flowers in the color pink next example of color imagery is looking up through leaves at the blue blind sky here the poet describes the blue sky visible through the leaves above him next example of imagery is they flew and flitted through the dappled green here the poet is watching the birds dutting and flying between the leaves of ferret green now let's learn appreciation of the poem let's see the following points number 1 about the poem poet and title cherry tree is a nature poem and narrative poem the poem has a beginning middle and end the poet ruskin bond is a nature lover the title of the poem gives the sense of trees and nature second point theme oblique summary oblique gist of the poem cherry tree is a poem of struggle against adverse conditions it inspires one to fight against even those 
who deliberately try to destroy one's effort to achieve one's dream. Next point, poetic style, oblique language, poetic devices used in the poem. The poem has rhyme scheme A, A, B, B, C, C. There is imagery of sight and sound. The choice of simple words makes the language easy to comprehend and enjoy. Alliteration in several lines make the poem enjoyable to read aloud or listen to. Personification makes the cherry tree dear even to the reader. Next, special features, life of cherry tree is central and focused element. Next point, message, oblique, values, oblique, morals in the poem. To plant and grow greenery wherever we can. The poet uses cherry tree as a symbol to our lives. The poem has the message to perish in the struggle to achieve a goal. There is a message of hope when one can only despair. Last point, your opinion about the poem. This is very interesting poem. Really, I enjoyed the poem. And last but not least, I would like to tell, live like a cherry tree. Though the struggle is very hard, but the end will bear fruit and bring great joy. Thank you.